Hello everyone, my name is Cassiana and I'm a member of the Data School DS33 cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I will show you a few examples of cases when you can use the multi-field formula tool in Alteryx, just so you can have a clear understanding of how it works. So in the first scenario from over here, we have a list of movies along with their nominations, budget and minutes. So you can see here we have a lot of no values, which needs to they need to be removed. But when it comes to Alteryx, uh, you can remove the null values with the data cleansing tool. However, in this particular instance, I will use the multi-field formula just so I can show you how you can remove um, and just replace them with something else. So a good case for this uh, will be if nulls can be replaced with a dash. So we cannot do it with the data cleansing. We cannot replace the no values with the text or with the dash, but we can just do it with the multi-field formula tool. And I'm just going to show you how you can do it. So if I drag and drop the multi-field formula into here. So for this particular example, I just choose them to be a text just so I can replace them with the dash uh, just for example. So I'm going to choose the nomination, budget, and minutes. So these are the fields that I want to replace. And here, I'm just going to unthick this option from over here um, because I don't want to create a new field. And I'm just going to put the calculation. So I'm going to put the conditional function from over here. And I'm going to write here if is null. And I'm going to choose the current field that we selected. So if the current field that was selected is no, then replace it with a dash for this, for this example. Else, uh, leave it as it is. So I'm just going to put the current field again into here. All right, so this is the logic behind this. So let's see what we have. So you can see now how the multi-field formula works. Again, this is just an example. You can replace this with a different thing if you want. Um, so you can replace it with a number if you want. You just need to have like a numeric field. Um, but you, you can just kind of see and understand the logic behind this. Okay, so here we have another example. So let's say you want to put country city, state, and region, uppercase. So if you want them to be an uppercase, then you will obviously put the multi-field formula again. So I'm going to show you how you can do it. So I'm just going to, like we did before, drag and drop this in here. And because they are a text type, I'm going to put them and select them from here. And I'm just going to select them all from here. And, and I don't want to update the fields. This time I want to create a new field. So I'm just going to put new. I'm going to leave this one as it is. And I'm going to choose prefix. So it's going to say new country, new city, new state, and new region. And then for the function, I want this to be this one from over here the uppercase function. And exactly like we did before, I'm just going to choose the current field, so the fields that I selected, to be in uppercase. And that will just put all the, the fields selected, uh, they will just turn them to be uppercase. So if I go on the right hand side, now I have the fields selected as new columns in uppercase. So we have country, city, state, and region in uppercase. Uh, so again, this is really straightforward and very easy to use. We have a lot of um, formulas like this. Now let's go ahead and see another example. So in this scenario, I want to calculate the percent of total for all the years. So I want to see the percent of total for 2020, 2021, 2022, and 2023. And so I'm going to go ahead and use the multi-field formula to do this for me. Um, so the data that I've created is obviously fake. The numbers are fake, um, but I just wanted to show you an example. 
Now, if I drag the multi-field formula into here, I'm just going to show you how you can configure if you want to calculate the percent of total for multiple years. So I'm just going to choose the years that I want to calculate and analyze. So I want the percent of total to be as separate fields for all the years. So I'm just going to put, and I'm going to keep this option from over here. And I will just put this percentage of total. And I'm going to put this to be as a suffix. For the output type, I'm just going to put this to be fixed decimals. And the function that I want in to here is, again, I want to calculate the percent of total. So I'm going to choose the current field selected to be divided by total. So this is the total column that we have. Um, so I want them to be divided by this column from over here. So I'm going to choose the column if I go to the original field, I'm just going to double click on here, or you can just completely type it from here uh, manually. And I want this to be multiplied by 100. And now if I run the workflow, right, so here we go. You can see now the calculation works. So now we have the percent of total for all for the years that we analyzed for each particular month. So it's really, really straightforward. It's really easy to use. Uh, again, it's going to save you a lot of time, especially if you have um, you, you need to perform calculations on multiple fields. So the examples that we showed you today are just a few. Um, again, you have a lot of functions, so I recommend you to read more and explore the functions that we have. So I hope you found this really useful. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to check out the newest videos.